This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. It was these colonies that came together and formed a federal government, not the other way around. New Hampshireites rallying for increased independence from Washington. This rally back in 2009 was not about secession, but secession is now kind of a hot topic. It's finally succeeded in getting to the front pages a bit. And if our job as liberty folk is to stir the pot a bit, I wonder why there hasn't been a piece of secession legislation yet. I'm not technically in favor of it, secession, but I am in favor of talking about it uh, and using the idea and the possibility of it to uh, gain more independence from Washington. Uh, maybe it would be better for me to say I'm against Washington's heavy involvement in New Hampshire affairs. Again, it's always ethically and practically safer to be against something than for something. But anyway, it might be ideal if the legislation was not new text, but whether the repeal of some text that put New Hampshire in the Union. I don't know if there is a legislative text that did that, but yeah, it would just be a repeal of, of, of uh, whatever it was that got us into this mess. This uh, master-slave relationship that the state seems to have with Washington. I can't advocate the creation of a bill, uh, even just to get people talking, uh, without also advocating that the, the the bill should not be funded by taxpayers. Right? Normally, you, you make if you if you create a bill in the New Hampshire State House, it costs you know a few years ago it cost like fifteen hundred dollars supposedly to kill the bill if it got killed. And of course, it would cost more if the bill became law. So there should be something done to make sure this bill, if it is introduced, is not funded by taxpayers. Uh, I think. But anyway. If that is the case, I like the idea of such a bill being brought forward. It'll get people talking. It will get us on ABC News. It will get us where we're supposed to be. Look, the Free State Project by now, we should be getting denounced every day by giant federal officials. I mean, the, the federal, you know, Obama should be having to talk about us every day. That's where we should be by now. But we're only like a third of the way to that point. Um, or are we? You know, maybe we could be at that point very fast with just a bill like this. Anyway, just a thought. Hey, by the way, uh, one of the reasons uh, why... I, oh, uh, well, okay, going back to the bill. Uh, in practical terms, if you are a person who lives in New Hampshire, you can make this happen, almost certainly. I would bet that 10 to 20 calls to legislators who you know or some of them who you don't, call the right legislators. I bet sooner or later you can find a legislator later who would sponsor this bill so you have the power as an individual to make this happen I've done it twice again I stopped doing it because I didn't want to create any, any, any more taxpayer expense when I, when I learned that it cost money to have these hearings I stopped having bills submitted I only had two submitted but um, again if the financial issue could be resolved this would be great I'm again not certain that secession itself would be great because it, it, it's almost always associated with some kind of upheaval uh, there is the possibility of the state New Hampshire could fracture if it were to secede. Uh, you saw how um, it, in the former Yugoslavia there were sort of fractures of states uh, as they seceded, although ultimately they, they did end up whole. Um, some of them did. But I mean, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I guess, in, in, the, in the United States, it's the same situation. When you had the uh, petitions in Texas to let Texas be independent, there were counter petitions almost immediately from parts of Texas that wanted to cede, they wanted to secede from independent Texas and be part of the federal union. For me, is that it's a federal crime to conspire to prevent a federal agent from enforcing their duties. So, quite literally, the entire Republican House membership who voted for this bill could arguably be charged with a federal crime. So, and that, there's that sentiment in New Hampshire too, uh, especially the more liberal parts of New Hampshire. If New Hampshire really were to secede, you would probably see counter secession in the in the Cheshire County area uh, and in the Portsmouth area. Um, you might also see pressures in the north in that direction. So um, they could be, get very complicated and messy. And people who are secessionists would be responsible. They'd be like held responsible for the results. Uh, that's why 
I think it's a little dangerous to be in favor of the actual act of secession. But we do need to get it talked about in order to increase our leverage on Washington. And in certain circumstances, we may find that we're going to have to do it. We may really have to secede. If things may get that bad, that secession would be better. Secession and all its risks. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.